And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round three. We have not had very much luck so far, rounds one and two. Uh, looking pretty bad for us, but we're um, you know, hopefully going <laughs> to turn around here. We are 0-2. Um, but, you know, either way, it's good practice, good learning experience um, and everything. So not going to always win them all. So our three decks, again, just to kind of reset, are going to be the Jarvan, Lulu, Shen. You can see, you can see them up here. Renekton, Sejuani, and Zoe Lux are the three decks that we're currently playing. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to ban Lissandra Trundle. So we're playing against um, Shivana, Aurelian Soul. So let's write these down. And like I said, I've you know I, I'm somebody who likes writing them down myself. Other people like doing screenshots, but I like writing them down and. I kind of learned their deck more from writing it down. And then also I separate three Dragon's Clutch. There's so many Dragon's Clutch. Separate the spells and the units. So just three of everything and then one Judgment. Okay. Fairly easy one to write down. So we've only seen one kind of aggro deck with scouts out of all the decks that you know we've our opponents have registered nine decks only one aggro deck with scouts i was expecting a lot of aggro honestly i think the jarvan shen lulu is the strongest deck of my three okay so they forfeited the match that's what you kind of think like whenever you're whenever you're owing two so basically what happened here is my opponent didn't hit the um didn't didn't hit the the button you know like you have your you have four minutes to hit that button to play the next round. And yeah, at 0 2, my opponent just, you know, quit. It's, that can be expected for sure. Okay, so I guess we're 1 2 now. You know, it still counts as a win. <laughs> we'll have some time before our next round. And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round number four. So, so far, uh, first two rounds. Ended up losing round number three. Our opponent didn't show up. Um, so now we are in round number four. We're going to play against somebody else who is currently one and two. So there's also another chance that our opponent doesn't show up again. But we shall see. We are doing the Lulu Lab uh, in between rounds, like while we were waiting for the timer. And we are on hard mode with Lulu currently. Okay, let's see what we're playing against. So Thresh Nasus, Discard Burn, and Spiders Aggro. So we're we're fine in the aggro decks. I think the one that I'm the most scared of is honestly the Discard Burn. The Discard Burn, very, very scary. I'm gonna I'm gonna be banning the Discard Burn. Let's see what we got here with Thresh Nasus. So we got And as y'all know, I like to write write them down. Two Butcher, two Calling, two Reaper, three Dune Keeper. Three Cursed Keeper, three Fading Icon, three Glimpse, two uh, Vile Feast, three Black Spear. That card is amazing. Opponent Smart playing three of those. Three Blighted Caretaker, only two Sand Spinners, another amazing card. Two Denies, three Spear Leech, two Thresh. I guess with the Rite of Callings, one to draw Nasus more often, and only two Atrocity. Not playing three atrocity. Okay, so that's our first list. Discard burn, looks rough. And then spider burn, yeah, okay, so they're going the burn version. Means we go one rear guard, three saboteur. Hopefully we don't just draw all of our one drops in the late game like we have been in all these games. We've been, we've been drawing very, very poorly, like turns five through eight. It <laughs> kind of like we've been drawing all of our ones and twos in those in those uh, turns every single game. Like, every single game. <laughs> so hopefully that fixes itself. All right, so three stalking. All right, so for spells, it's just Brothers Bond. Two Brothers Bond, three Stalking Shadows, three Fervor, three Decimate. Two Demolitionist, two Sentry, three Doom Beast, three Skitterer. Okay. 
this deck just has such high potential, right? Like it has such high, like a high roll potential because you can just go crazy with you know visions and and spinning axes, putting in free units and everything like that. Like it, this deck can just go crazy, um, hard to stop. I'm going to be banning that deck. The Lux Zoe that I have here is an anti-aggro version of Lux Zoe, but that may get banned. It's possible I should just be banning Thresh Nasus because all of my decks are kind of slanted towards aggro. So maybe I should just be playing the two aggro decks. But I don't know. This this version still even. Okay, so opponent did show up. Yeah. They saw all the lifesteal they have with that version. Okay. We're going to start with Jarvan Lulu Shen because whenever we went second with Jarvan Lulu Shen, we lost with it. And whenever we went first with Renekton Sejuani, we lost with it. So we're going to switch those up. So we're going to go first with this version and second with Renekton. Wow, we actually have a Shen. We have a Shen. So this being the aggro matchup, I'm Mulligan looking for the one and two mana units in our deck to go along with Shen. Which we didn't exactly find. We instead drew all of the expensive cards. Two fives, a six, a nine, <laughs> and two threes. For the Empire. Not exactly a good mulligan. For the glory of two worlds, one balance. Alright, good draw with the single combat. I have two of the lifesteal barrier cards. It must be done. So best case scenario is I'm at four after this. Worst case scenario, if they have a Fervor or a Brothers Bond, we're dead. All right, guys. Yeah, we go to five. Never mind. Not quite dead to Brothers Bond. I don't think this is our worst matchup. You said this is our worst matchup by far. I don't think so. I think not playing anything turn one, turn two, and also not having lifesteal barrier, and also the opponent having the attack token on turn one, and the opponent having the curve that they did, I think all of those things are like how we lose the matchup, but I don't think it's necessarily a matchup that we just lose all the time. Like this is, it's just like when when you lose, you lose by a lot, right? Like so it it looks bad when you lose, but it's I don't think it's a bad matchup. I just think um you know, like them having the attack token on turn one is huge, and just what you know what happened with um, me not finding an early unit and all that kind of stuff, right? Like having Bright Steel Formation, Jarvin, like these are like our worst possible cards. But you know, it happens. Enforced equilibrium. I can't really play around Fervor. Yeah, I'm kind of just dead. So like, okay, so assuming they only have just all units. It's my best play, I guess. I guess this is still the best play. I will fight for Demacia till the day I die. Okay, cool. No fervor. So hopefully no decimate. Hopefully it's just all units. That's that's all that I can hope for. Well, they only have two burn spells in their deck, just fervor and decimate, and they obviously don't have fervor because they didn't play it. 
but unfortunately they did have Decimate. Jar Jarvan Shen Lulu looking terrible today. It's 0 3 on the day. So both these decks have to beat Thresh Nasus. I don't think it really matters which one we start with. Yeah, maybe the Lulu is just the really bad luck. You know, like I. Every time we played this in rank, I actually didn't have the Lulu, but um, decided to put the Lulu in for the tournament, and maybe it's just the bad luck. I don't know. I think I'm allowing them to play Glimpse Beyond. Where if I pass, they waste a mana. And they don't get to draw those two cards. Looks like pass was the right play. Zero barriers so far. Don't get to respond to that, unfortunately. Barriers. them lose everything. Can I do 17 damage to them next turn? What do they have? So they have, what, Vile Feast? Yeah, Vile Feast would be their only 
way of interacting. I think I probably can. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yes, they're dead. Yes, they should just be dead, right? Because they can't. The king who go where they are needed. Maybe you've counted this up one more time. They have, I guess they have two vile fees. So if they, I guess that they have both vile fees, they stay alive. They have two. I shouldn't have blocked at this caretaker because I just blocked like a, a one power thing. No, I okay. I was doing less damage than what I counted. Hmm. One Vile Feast would have kept them alive. Okay, I really should have double-counted that, but it worked out. Okay, Renekton Sejuani. Gotta get it done. Yeah, that's Shen's champion spell. Stand United. Alright, gone. Gone. Let's get some challengers. Challenger cards. Alright, Predator. That's a challenger card. Three sisters can help out with like the flash freeze against a big Nasus. For later on in the game. Because if I if I play Ruthless Raider there, then they then they attack with their three one, and so I take three instead of taking one. Damage wise. There you are. Your cycle is done. Man, caretaker's good. Caretaker's real good. They're going Black Spear. Oh no, just Glimpse Beyond. Kai Reaper is great. Your time in the cycle is done. That was a terrible turn. Three sisters, you are absolutely killing me. I should have just played Flash Freeze. I can't I can't ever afford this one mana. I guess the Ancient Yetis didn't really help. Uh, drawing them when I did. I went a bloody path through Shurima. Chase them down! I 
probably should have taken two more damage and, and had my 4-4 block the 3-1 and let them keep the 5-3 alive. So eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven. It just doesn't beat Atrocity either way. They're only playing two Atrocities. I just gotta hope they don't have one. Maybe I should've just gone for the Entomb, but like this allows me to play something else large this turn. Just, you know, hopefully no atrocity. Oh. Well, the next time something goes right for me today, it's going to be the first time. Yes, yeah, so they, they had atrocity, so if I would have gone into him, it wouldn't have worked. Um, just, if I just go troll chant... Like they don't, you know, like they don't do anything, right? Like they just wait till the next turn in atrocity. But you know, then I guess I'd have the, the flash freeze. But uh, you need to go seven and two. You need you need to go nine zero or eight and one to guarantee to be qualified. Seven and two, you it's possible that you're qualified. So where I'm at, six and three, I'm eliminated. Seven and two, it's you know it depends on you know just it's it's a maybe. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, not my best showing today. Um, you know, some days it's, you know, some days you got it, some days you don't. I just did not have it today. Unfortunately, lost to all three games, that, all three matches that we played. So in 0 and 3 today, you know, yeah, it just wasn't my day, <laughs> you know. So that's that's how it is. We'll 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 try again at next seasonal tournament. Um, but um, yeah, let me know how it, how it went for you. Those of y'all on YouTube, like how what y'all play, how to go for you, all that kind of stuff. You know, I'd be happy to hear. Hopefully y'all enjoy the games, even though I didn't, uh, unfortunately didn't win or do much winning. Um, aw, thank you. Penguin Pouch. Wow, that is incredibly nice. That is incredibly nice. Tough luck today. Keep your chin up. That's, that's incredibly nice there, Penguin Pouch. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so it wasn't, wasn't my day, but we'll, we'll try next seasonal tournament. Because remember, these seasonal tournaments are every two months, so there's going to be another one. Um, whenever the next, uh, re you know, the next expansion comes out, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll try to get them then. All right, but that's it here for the seasonal tournament. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.